Let's talk about the new stable update for the POCO F1 which is MIUI 11.0.6.0 stable based on Android 10. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're going to talk about the latest MIUI 11 update for the POCO F1 which is 11.0.6.0 stable based on Android 10. Let us first go into settings about phone, all the specs and here is the first new thing which you will notice which is an updated security patch level from 1st of February 2020. As for the kernel version, this is the kernel version which you get 4.9.186. We can also go back into settings about phone system update and click on what's new so this is also something new you know xiaomi oh sorry poco they're no longer xiaomi they are a independent entity so poco generally says that they made optimizations for a change they are being very honest and the only thing which is new in this build is the security patch they haven't done any optimizations because everybody knows when poco does optimizations to a device what happens to that device is out there in the open other than that they have also fixed the version so common sense not being common miui 11.0.5.0 for the poco f1 was android 9.0 pi we got the android 10 update it was miui 11.0.4.0 leaving everybody confused as to what is happening now a lot of you might come back and tell me that the 11.0.4.0 update was rolled back i don't think so and why that is because with today's update they have provided an ota update from 11.0.4.0 to 11.0.6.0 if 11.0.4.0 had been rolled back they would have never provided the ota update from that version that being said these are the three new things which you find in this build if you are coming from 11.0.5.0 i do encourage you to watch the video which is in the description of this video that will tell you what is new between android 9.0 pi and android 10 for the poco f1 other than that for the touch issues well i personally never had any touch issues on my poco f1 however if you still expect xiaomi to fix the touch issues on the poco f1 you have the wrong expectation i personally have given up hope and you should also not expect anything from xiaomi or poco regarding touch issues on the poco f1 as for the charging here are a few screenshots which i took so this is the first screenshot and as you can see it is at 1037 at that time my battery was at 56 then at 11 12 my battery is at 90 so i went from 56 to 90 in 45 minutes so 34 percent in 45 minutes that is the charging speed which i am getting now moving over to what is still missing in this miui 11 update for the poco f1 so we can go into settings and then we can go into display and we can search for an option called global dark mode is it there nope global dark mode is still not there how do you get global dark mode well you need to enable developer options then go into settings additional settings developer options and here in the hardware section you will find the option for force dark mode so let me find that option hardware accelerated rendering override force dark this is as good as global dark mode on the poco f1 then we can also look for the dynamic fonts which poco or xiaomi announced with the miui 11 update for the india region so that should be in settings display text size and nopes we still do not have dynamic fonts next up let's look for the video calling wallpapers so settings sound and vibration nopes we do not have the option of the video calling wallpaper as well now we can go into themes and my page go into themes and as you can see this is the current status bar icons which i have with the poco theme right here's the classic theme 
click on apply the status bar icons are from the classic theme as you can see if i go back go to the poco theme the poco theme has the fully colored or fully white status bar icons so we'll apply this theme applied bam still not changed shameful very shameful from xiaomi and you know they make big promises they do not do anything in fact they do not even fix any of the issues we can also go back into settings password and security i do have the option of face unlock however i did see some comments on my install video telling me that they do not have the option for face unlock well you need to make sure that your region is set as india if your region is set as china then you will not get the option of face unlock and even after setting the region as india if you do not get the option of face unlock then your cursed partition has been corrupted and you need to flash the fast boot rom for the poco f1 to get back the option for face unlock next up we'll go into settings and we can look for the ultra battery saver mode so that should be in settings battery and performance nope we still do not have the option for ultra battery saver mode Let's look for Android 10 gestures. I know a lot of you feel bad when I expect Xiaomi to put in Android 10 gestures. Well, it is what it is. And we can go into settings, additional settings, and look for full screen display. Nope, so we still do not have the option of Android 10 gestures. We do not want to learn it now, but here it is. Double check for gestures, go back to previous app, no option for Android 10 gestures in this new 11.0.6.0 build as well. Now, as for the benchmark scores, here are the benchmark scores which I got on this build. What is my opinion about this build? Well, my opinion is as good as this wallpaper. Xiaomi promised a bunch of things with their Android 11 presentation for the India region. What did they give us? Nothing. Have they fixed any issues? Nope. How good is this build? As good as bullshit. That's what they're pushing out to the end users. And what I wonder is why do none of the top YouTubers call out Xiaomi for their bullshit? You know, you present things as if you're gonna add a bunch of features to MIUI 11. None of them ever rolled out in India. I guess it's kind of difficult to criticize a brand which gives out free devices to you. There it is peeps that was our discussion about the 11.0.6.0 update for the poco f1 based on android 10 that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you